Can you discuss your company's approach to fostering a diverse and inclusive leadership team? Fostering diversity in leadership involves inclusive hiring practices, mentorship programs, and initiatives to identify and develop diverse talent for leadership roles. How does your company prioritize employee well-being, especially during challenging times? Prioritizing employee well-being involves mental health support, flexible work arrangements, and initiatives to address work-related stress during challenging periods. What steps do you take to ensure that employees are equipped with the necessary skills for evolving job roles? Ensuring skills alignment involves continuous training programs, skills assessments, and adapting professional development initiatives to meet evolving job role requirements. Can you share experiences of successfully retaining key talent within your organization? Certainly. Retaining key talent involves personalized retention strategies, career development plans, and recognition programs that acknowledge and reward key contributions. How does your company approach the integration of new technologies into existing business processes? Integrating new technologies involves pilot programs, training initiatives, and gradual implementation to ensure a smooth transition and optimize the benefits of technological advancements. Can you discuss your company's approach to succession planning and leadership development? Succession planning involves identifying high-potential employees, providing leadership development opportunities, and ensuring a pipeline of capable leaders to support organizational growth. How does your company approach feedback from employees regarding organizational processes and policies? Feedback from employees regarding processes and policies is actively sought, and improvements are made based on their valuable input to ensure alignment with employee needs. Can you discuss your company's approach to fostering collaboration among remote teams? Fostering collaboration among remote teams involves virtual team building activities, regular video conferences, and providing digital collaboration tools to facilitate effective communication. What steps does your company take to promote diversity in leadership roles? Promoting diversity in leadership involves targeted recruitment efforts, mentorship programs, and creating an inclusive leadership culture that values diverse perspectives. How does your company approach innovation in customer service and support? Innovation in customer service involves adopting new technologies, personalized support approaches, and continuous training to enhance the overall customer experience. Can you share experiences of successfully launching new products or services in the market? Certainly. Successful product launches involve market research, effective marketing strategies, and ensuring that the product meets the evolving needs of the target audience. How does your company approach employee recognition to boost morale and motivation? Boosting morale involves regular recognition programs, acknowledging achievements in team meetings, and providing opportunities for employees to shine in their roles. What strategies does your company employ to maintain a positive online brand presence? Maintaining a positive online presence involves active social media engagement, responding to customer feedback, and consistently delivering on brand promises. How does your company balance the use of automation and human touch in customer interactions? Interactions. Balancing automation and human touch involves leveraging technology for efficiency while ensuring that there are personalized and empathetic human interactions in customer service. Can you discuss your company's approach to corporate training on diversity, equity, and inclusion? Training on diversity, equity, and inclusion involves workshops, educational resources, and ongoing initiatives to create awareness and foster an inclusive workplace culture. How does your company measure and assess the success of its employee wellness programs? Assessing wellness program success involves employee surveys, tracking health metrics, and evaluating participation rates to ensure positive impacts on employee well-being. Can you share examples of successful employee-led initiatives that positively impacted the company? Certainly. Employee-led initiatives, such as volunteer programs, sustainability projects, and innovation contests have positively impacted company culture and community engagement. 
How does your company handle and adapt to changes in customer preferences and market demands? Adapting to changes involves regular market research, analyzing customer feedback, and agile decision-making to align products and services with evolving market demands. Can you discuss your company's approach to maintaining ethical business practices throughout its global operations? Maintaining ethical practices involves a global code of conduct, ethics training, and consistent monitoring to ensure adherence to ethical standards across all operations. How does your company approach talent development to prepare employees for leadership roles? Talent development involves leadership training programs, mentorship initiatives, and providing opportunities for employees to take on increasing responsibilities and challenges. What measures does your company take to ensure a safe and healthy work environment for all employees? employees? Ensuring a safe work environment involves regular safety training, hazard assessments, and providing the necessary equipment and resources to maintain workplace safety. How does your company encourage and support employee innovation and creativity in day-to-day tasks? Encouraging innovation involves recognizing and rewarding creative contributions, providing a platform for idea sharing, and fostering a culture that values and supports experimentation. Can you share examples of successful partnerships or collaborations your company has engaged in? Certainly. Successful collaborations involve strategic partnerships with other companies, research institutions, or industry organizations that have led to mutually beneficial outcomes. How does your company approach strategic planning for long-term growth and sustainability? Strategic planning involves setting long-term goals, conducting regular reviews, and adapting strategies to ensure sustained growth while prioritizing environmental and social responsibility. What steps does your company take to ensure fair and inclusive opportunities for career advancement? Ensuring fair opportunities involves transparent promotion processes, providing equal access to training and development, and addressing unconscious biases in talent management. Can you discuss your company's approach to fostering a culture of continuous improvement in its operations? Fostering continuous improvement involves regular assessments, feedback loops, and a commitment to identifying and implementing enhancements across all aspects of business operations. How does your company maintain open channels of communication between leadership and employees? Maintaining open communication involves regular town hall meetings, leadership Q&A sessions, and accessible channels for employees to voice concerns and suggestions. Can you share experiences of successfully navigating changes in leadership and organizational restructuring? Certainly. Navigating leadership changes involves clear communication, providing support to employees during transitions, and ensuring continuity in organizational goals. How does your company approach customer education and support to enhance their experience with your products or services? Customer education involves informative resources, online tutorials, and responsive support channels to empower customers in using products or services effectively. What strategies does your company employ to stay agile and responsive to market dynamics? Staying agile involves flexible decision-making processes, cross-functional collaboration, and regularly reassessing strategies to adapt to changing market conditions. How does your company approach employee onboarding to ensure a smooth and effective integration into the organization? Employee onboarding involves comprehensive orientation, mentorship programs, and clear communication to help new hires understand the company culture and their roles. Can you discuss your company's approach to employee engagement and involvement in decision-making processes? Employee engagement involves involving employees in decision-making through forums, suggestion programs, and encouraging open dialogue to ensure their voices are heard. How does your company ensure fair and unbiased performance evaluations for all employees? Ensuring unbiased evaluations involves clear performance criteria, regular training for evaluators, and monitoring for any potential biases to ensure equitable assessments. Can you share examples of successful customer retention strategies employed by your company? Certainly. Customer retention involves personalized loyalty programs, 
proactive customer support, and consistently delivering high-quality products or services to build lasting relationships. What role does employee feedback play in the continuous improvement of your company's products or services? Employee feedback is valuable for continuous improvement. It provides insights into areas for enhancement, innovation, and ensures that products or services meet internal and external expectations. How does your company contribute to industry thought leadership and knowledge sharing? Contributing to thought leadership involves publishing white papers, participating in industry conferences, and sharing expertise to advance industry knowledge and best practices. What role does corporate culture play in the recruitment and onboarding process? Corporate culture is emphasized in recruitment through cultural fit assessments and highlighted during onboarding to ensure new hires align with the company's values and work environment. How does your company approach talent acquisition in a competitive job market? Talent acquisition involves employer branding, offering competitive compensation packages, and establishing a positive employer reputation to attract top talent in a competitive job market. Can you discuss your company's approach to fostering a diverse and inclusive leadership team? Fostering diversity in leadership involves inclusive hiring practices, mentorship programs, and initiatives to identify and develop diverse talent for leadership roles. How does your company prioritize employee well-being, especially during challenging times? Prioritizing employee well-being involves mental health support, flexible work arrangements, and initiatives to address work-related stress during challenging periods. What steps do you take to ensure that employees are equipped with the necessary skills for evolving job roles? Ensuring skills alignment involves continuous training programs, skills assessments, and adapting professional development initiatives to meet evolving job role requirements. Can you share experiences of successfully retaining key talent within your organization? Retaining key talent involves personalized retention strategies, career development plans, and recognition programs that acknowledge and reward key contributions. How does your company approach the integration of new technologies into existing business processes? Integrating new technologies involves pilot programs, training initiatives, and gradual implementation to ensure a smooth transition and optimize the benefits of technological advancements. Can you discuss your company's approach to succession planning and leadership development? Succession planning involves identifying high-potential employees, providing leadership development opportunities, and ensuring a pipeline of capable leaders to support organizational growth. How does your company approach the development of a diverse and inclusive company culture? Developing a diverse and inclusive culture involves fostering awareness, implementing inclusive policies, and providing training to promote understanding and acceptance. Can you discuss your company's approach to risk management and mitigating potential business challenges? Risk management involves identifying potential challenges, implementing contingency plans, and regularly reassessing strategies to mitigate risks and ensure business continuity. What steps does your company take to ensure ethical sourcing and responsible supply chain practices? Ensuring ethical sourcing involves vetting suppliers, promoting fair labor practices, and maintaining transparency throughout the supply chain to support responsible business practices. How does your company encourage employees to stay updated on industry trends and emerging technologies? Encouraging employees involves providing access to industry publications, organizing training sessions, and fostering a culture that values continuous learning and staying informed. Can you share share examples of successful employee mentorship programs within your organization? Certainly. Successful mentorship programs involve pairing experienced employees with ments, setting clear goals, and providing guidance to support career development and growth. How does your company approach product innovation to stay competitive in the market? Product innovation involves market research, collaboration with cross-functional teams, and a commitment to staying ahead of trends to deliver innovative solutions that meet customer needs. What strategies does your company employ to create a positive employer brand and attract top talent? 
Creating a positive employer brand involves showcasing company culture, emphasizing employee benefits, and actively engaging in recruitment marketing to attract top-tier candidates. Can you discuss your company's approach to supporting employees' work-life balance, especially during busy periods? Supporting work-life balance involves flexible scheduling, workload management, and providing resources to help employees manage their responsibilities effectively, especially during busy periods. How does your company approach diversity and inclusion in decision-making processes at all levels of the organization? Inclusion in decision-making involves diverse representation on decision-making teams, promoting diverse perspectives, and creating an environment where all voices are heard and valued. Can you share experiences of successfully adapting business strategies to navigate economic downturns or market uncertainties? Certainly. Adapting strategies involves scenario planning, cost-effective measures, and agile decision-making to navigate uncertainties and maintain resilience during economic downturns. Corporate culture. How would you describe the core values and beliefs that shape your company's corporate culture? What steps does your company take to ensure that employees embody and promote the desired corporate culture? Can you provide examples? Examples of how your company promotes a collaborative and inclusive culture among employees? How does your company encourage innovation and creativity within its corporate culture? What measures does your company take to maintain and strengthen its corporate culture as it grows? Talent acquisition. How does your company attract passive candidates who may not be actively looking for job opportunities? Can you describe the process your company follows to assess cultural fit during the recruitment process? What strategies does your company employ to source and attract diverse candidates? How does your company leverage technology and data analytics in the talent acquisition process? What role does employer branding play in your company's talent acquisition efforts? Employee well-being. How does your company promote work-life balance among employees? Can you describe the employee assistance programs or wellness initiatives your company offers? How does your company support employees' mental health and emotional well-being? What measures does your company take to address and prevent workplace burnout? Skill development. What types of training and development programs does your company offer to employees? How does your company identify and address skills gaps among employees?